So Trey, there's there there's a professional whose situation is like is like yours. They may have mm-hmm. consulted a bit before. They may have worked a little bit, you know, before, and they may have kind of flip flopped over time because you know they were just kind of fluidly moving in their in their career. But mm-hmm. they're they're at a place where they really would like to do consulting full time, and don't know what that looks like. They don't know what mm. that looks like as a picture, and they don't know what that looks like as far as like what help or plan that they would need. Maybe they're considering being involved with covered consultant. Maybe not. But from your perspective, as someone who has done both, you've consulted, you've worked, you've considered them both. What 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 uh, advice, recommendation, what guidance or wisdom would you offer mm. them as they think about getting support from somewhere, working with the yeah. coach, get, building a plan? Yeah, I, I mean, I think um, I certainly would recommend cover c- coveted consultant because you you make and I'm this I'm I know it is a plug, but I'm I'm like I'm being for real. Um, going with coveted consultant means that you're going to have a simple process that works. How are you acquiring clients? How are you serving clients? How are you retaining clients? That's your business. You, if you can answer those three. That is your business. So I think if you are in that full time role and you've already got some clients, start making your money on your day off or, you know, I got 10 days that I could use. Start scheduling clients on those days off so that you can validate your business and end up working your way or consulting your way back out of a job. But I, I think you have to have the help in a spe- all, all those three pieces. And it's not a lot. I, I'm say all three, but acquisition, attraction and acquiring. Get it right. Service, <laughs> product productized like i'm i simplify so much on my quickbooks on quickbooks i used to have maybe 15 to 20 different services i offered because i was trying to create one every time no now there's four there's an introductory service there's two retainer options and there's a professional development like one-off type of thing it's easy i'm making making uh, invoices in 20 minutes now instead of an hour and that saves the two hours that i need to be able to work on my business and not in my business and create all this stuff uh, from scratch every time. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is a, um, another piece that's far out, but in, so outsourcing with the VA that saves me I'm about 10 hours a week from, from my VA to be able to do business. So I can spend that time with my family. I think the next step for me in my business is to put systems in place so that I can outsource some of my services or some of my trainings as well. So like my training last week, um, that I did for my audit, I put together a facilitator guide so that anybody else that does the service, I can send you this eight page document and literally you can, you have everything laid out for you. So putting th- those systems are everything. If you don't have a system, if you can't repeat it, if you're guessing every time you're doing something, you you don't have a business. You, you don't have a business. You got to have the structures. Um, I'm rambling a little bit now, but I'm going to keep on going on my in my systems, I have a folder that says GCG is my LLC ASR. And inside of that is acquisition, service, retention. And I have one document that serves as a table of content that has all my processes in it. My acquisition process, my social media process, my um, my onboarding process, every my YouTube upload process. I use the same process for everything um that came from coveted coaching and it just feels so much more organized because anytime i bring somebody in i don't have to create something from scratch i can share this document and we can make it work yeah yeah see now you get dangerous now you get dangerous right yeah so we just we just we just stepped into a scaling conversation Mm -hmm. and scale is one of those words that makes me want to just it makes me itch and i want to scream and run for the hills it's it's a it's a word of magic and unicorns and people just kind of use it and they don't define it and oh but what you just talked about is you just you just said so that that, that i can see a a place see it's a point in time where the service is done by someone else and not by me well then that frees up more time right that i can now spend working back on the business again Mm-hmm. Man, it gets, it gets, it gets, it gets fun, man. It it, yeah. it, 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 it get it gets fun. But like as you've already well well explained, there's a there's a base set of stuff you got to have your head around so that mm-hmm. you can do, do do those do those do those other other things. If not, they're elusive. You can talk about yeah. them, you can discuss them. Someone can train you on them. They're not real. It's all it's all fairy tale stuff. Uh, thank you, Trey. Thank you for, for your for your for your time today uh, and today's conversation for your honesty and, and your transparency. It means a lot to me that 
another smart person like you can make a smart choice about <laughs> where if and then where to get help from. And I can only talk so much about it. You know, it, it, when hearing it from other professionals, uh, hearing the, the decision making process from, from other professionals makes yeah. it easier. Makes it easier. So thank you for being an example. My pleasure. And I, I appreciate I appreciate your work, you know, and I appreciate the accountability and the value you provide to your uh, coaches. And I mean, I see myself going back for refinement uh, regularly, you know, whether that probably won't be four years next time. But if it's next summer or whatever the case, I think having that, those touch bases and refining your business, and especially as a solo entrepreneur, you, you've got to you've got to you've got to get outside your own four walls and outside yeah. your brain and ask somebody for help. So yeah. I, I, it's a pleasure, Alze. Um, I, I, you're, I, I said it before. You're my business coach. Somebody asked me, Alze is my business coach. And then that's just what it is. <laughs> hey, it's Alze Calhoun. You just heard a little bit about what it's like to work with a business coach. The truth is the best business coaches don't just offer their clients smarts, but they offer their clients an entire environment to help them perform better. If you want to know more about what that's like in Coveted Consultant, there's a playlist available right down here. If there's some other content you'd like to watch on the channel, there's some videos available up here. Either way, make sure you click like, watch your video of choice, and I will see you in the next one.